Warning, the following program is intended for mature audiences. The content of the program is satirical and made for entertainment purposes only. Good afternoon and welcome back to The Casting Couch. First of all, I'd like to apologise to the viewers for the two-week hiatus, but we are back and we've got a lot in store for today. I'm sitting here with local hotshot rapper, Young Digger. He's 16 years old and he's got a gift in rap that we think needs to be exposed. Without further ado, please give it up for Young Digger. Hello. <laughs> Uh, now, Diggs, <laughs> pleasure to finally have you on after nearly a month of organising. No, it's been You've been a pretty already. busy cunt. What's been yeah. going on? <laughs> just freaking working, man. Just doing working? music. Yeah, just trying to sort out an album at the moment. And oh, like, yeah, mid. Yeah, fuck yeah. Just trying to trying to get my music out there. and. Yeah, so, just, yeah, it's justified that, you know, we haven't been able to hear from you for yeah, a few weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, fair yeah. enough. Do you mind if you tell us a little bit about yourself, man? Yeah, sure. Like, the viewers at home, because you're such a young gun, yeah. they're not likely to know you, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, you know, I, I was born and raised in Tamworth, and, um, yeah, I don't know, I've always been back and forth from Tamworth in Queensland. and. Oh, yeah, we're in Queensland. Um, Sunshine Coast. Sunny Coast. Yeah, Mims. yeah, yeah, it's really nice. Like, like it up there? Yeah, nice beaches and nice, um, like, forest and that like that do you yeah. know there's a um pretty famous rapper from there yeah true don yeah. greeno i think i've heard of him yeah bro gun. oh yeah yeah i know who you're talking about yeah he's fuck, a weapon yeah. he's man. really good yeah, yeah. fuck no all right the shit he's doing you yeah, say he just true. got out of jail no really yeah, yeah um true. i think he's got a song releasing next week yeah true yeah. yeah um but yeah no cool so sunny coast and yeah. between there and tamworth you got all yeah. the family there yeah i've got um like all me uh like i've got like eight siblings, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, eight. Yeah, yeah. Fuck and your mum and dad must be busy. <laughs> <laughs> well, me, my parents are split up, so like my daddy's got like five kids, and um, and my mum she's got six. Oh so, yeah. Yeah, so I've got like like three, four brothers, three brothers, and f four, five sisters. So yeah, yeah cool. And, um, so yeah, I've got heaps of family up there, and. A little bit of family down here, but yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. nice, nice. Yeah. Well, did, where'd you go to school, man? Um, I went to Oxley, but like I only went there for like a little bit, and then um, I was at some like chance to state college or something up in Queensland. I'm, I can't really remember. So you um, went to Queensland for a bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. And we yeah. know you're not in school anymore. So yeah. what year did you leave? Um, I'd say I. It's legit, man. I went first week in grade 10, got suspended for vaping and just didn't go back. Yeah, really? And I was just like, fuck this, this is just stupid. And just didn't go back. And, and Was then, that in Queensland? No, that was in um, in Tamworth, yeah. At Oxley? Yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, just ever since then, you know, I just got really into my music because obviously I had all the time. And yeah, just... Yeah, nice. Really so, that. you left yeah. school. What do you do for work? Um, I do tiling. Like, I, I'm going to do an apprenticeship of tiling, and, um, but yeah, I've been You've only just started that, yeah, haven't you? Yeah, 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 just doing it for a month now, and, um, and yeah, I really fucking enjoy it, yeah, like, I oh, really love it, it. Yeah. yeah, it's really Getting nice. into a trade, yeah. leaving oh, school, yeah, what, yeah. every, more kids should be doing it, yeah, let's be right. that's right, that, that's like, set. <laughs> have a look nowadays, man, everyone wants to go to art school. Yeah. Oh, let's pack up all our things, yeah. go to Newcastle. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, mum and dad are just down the road in yeah, Tamworth. It, I'll be exactly. right if I fail my yeah. fucking arts degree. It's just... I Anyways. I don't get it, eh? More just, blokes should be doing trades. Yeah. Am I wrong? No, it's fucking 100%. 100%. What's the emphasis of it like in school? Like... Getting a trade. It's, it's fucking... It's pretty, like, bare minimum sort of they thing. Don't, like they that. don't care about boys wanting to get trades. No. It's, I mean, yeah, yeah, like, I, I know what you mean, like, fucking... I, that's what I didn't understand as well, like, being in school and stuff was, like, you know, it's to set you up in life and whatnot, but it, it's what not. are you learning? Bro, you know what I mean? What like, the fuck do you actually exactly. learn? Exactly. You don't, you don't learn, like, what happens, right? You, you finish grade six, you go into high school, you go up to grade 12, and then you just, you drop out what of school. What life skills you, did you, know? you actually get? Exactly. You know? 
Exactly. Like, how many times have I heard of blokes wanting to know shit that they should know? Yeah, exactly. And they don't know it. No, and exactly. it's shit just because they didn't have the opportunities yeah. at home. Yeah. So they don't obviously get that chance to yeah. explore into that path. Yeah. And yeah. that's what schools should have been doing, yeah, like they exactly. used to do. Yeah. How big was industrial technology a couple decades ago? Yeah, yeah, that's right. And, like, I just don't understand it, because it's just, it's just silly. Like, I don't know. It, school's important. Like, it, it's important, so, yeah. yeah. But just the stuff that they teach and, and the things it's that they It's catered for about, one type of student. Exactly. That's why I never really got, like, because... It's, I, it's mandatory for all kids to go to school. Yeah. But they've only got one syllabus. Yeah. <laughs> Legit, know, like not every kid's up. the same. Oh, fuck, exactly. It doesn't take a genius to work no, that out, no, eh? No, And it's just, yeah, I don't get it. But, um, Neither do I. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> let's let's leave school. <laughs> Stupid topic. Yeah. Tell us more about your hobbies and interests. What do you do outside of school and work? So, um, obviously, I do my music. Um, yeah. I've yeah. been doing that. So, I, I do music and I do um, MMA and Muay Thai. Yeah. And um, because obviously in MMA people have different bases and stuff, and some people have boxing and kickboxing and Muay Thai. And mine's obviously Muay Thai. And yeah, like I started off doing MMA when I was like grade in grade four. Oh so yeah. Been like ten, I think. Or something nice. Like, yeah, real young. And then um, and then, so. <clears throat> so my Muay Thai trainer, right? At the time, he had like. Where do you train Muay Thai? Um, I don't. I don't you do don't Muay do Thai. It no, I don't Where do Muay Thai. Train? Yeah, I, up in Queensland, um, it's some place called Shadow Boxing, and um. Yeah, right. Eh? But um, it, the funny thing is, is that my old coach, um, at the like with the MMA when I first started. Yeah. Um, he was an old UFC fighter. Oh, was yeah, he? Yeah, yeah, he was in the UFC, and um, what's it called? And he was he was Steve Irwin's bodyguard, Kyle Noe. Steve Irwin had a bodyguard. Yeah, like well, fuck, like, he, he didn't mind wrestling a fucking crocodile, yeah, but that, he, he had to have yeah, a bodyguard. Yeah, and but apparently, he, he, like he would help him with the crocodiles and stuff like really? that. Yeah, like what, did he like was he packing? Um, yeah, fuck yeah, he was huge. No, I mean like oh, he, he had a gun. Oh no, like no, if the croc went no. a bit too far, I he don't just know. Went yeah. Like I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sure. Like what was like, like what he was really like there for, but he. He just like kind of helped him, sort of thing, and apparently Steve, like Steve Irwin, would be up. Like, but a early bit of a yin and, and, yin and yang sort of. Yeah, 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 and just, but um, yeah. Anyways, he um, I'm pretty sure he, he did retire too after um Steve Irwin like passed, and um, and then yeah, he um, he was training my Muay Thai uh, trainer in yeah. um in MMA because he was trying to go to the UFC as well, and um. And then he just, like, kind of, like, something happened with him. He, got, like, had a car accident. So he just went, like, and started coaching in Muay Thai. And then I started going and doing that and just kind of, like, left MMA behind. Oh, and, yeah. Um, and, yeah, I, I, I'd gone to flight camps and stuff like that. Like, I did, um like, for ages too. Like, so you know how to hold yourself yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah. I've been doing it for, like, Jed, six years. Jed, we can't roll years. him. <laughs> just scrap the idea. He can, he can fight. <laughs> Fuck it, hell. Yeah. Uh, oh. There goes yeah. my fucking extra money. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. But, yeah, fucking... It's, it's really, like, I really do enjoy it, like, as well as with my job and, and music and stuff. Like, as, as much as I enjoy it, oh, I... I I dream and inspire to be like at least a US, USC fighter or something. So that, is that a dream you still have? Yeah, yeah. So all, every day, every night, you know, that's what I'm dreaming fucking I thinking of. Fucking Yeah, man. And also, like, I would never give up on music because music's always like helped me. You so don't have to. You can, exactly. you can still do both. Exactly. And like, I just think of it like. You can even yeah. just do the music as a hobby, but exactly. still be good at it. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. Do you? UFC. Yeah, and still even then, like I, I'll get clout from it because what? Where do you? What do you see? When do you see a UFC fight right. rapping? It's like Dame Lillard did the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, Dame Lillard has songs. Yeah, true. And he's the gun at basketball. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. Obviously, he's no Twenty One Savage. Yeah, but yeah, but he's still he's can, still good yeah, enough where he exactly. can get a like 
viewer listener base yeah. of it that isn't yeah. just his basketball yeah, fan. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah. So, yeah, you, you, you can't really extinguish that dream no. because you have another dream. No. And even, like, even when I was a kid and stuff, I always wanted to, like... Like, I, I, I legit have dreams about being on st- on the stage and stuff and rapping in yeah. front of an all- audience and stuff. It's it's Where's always been, like, a thing for me. A venue, like a music festival, you'd, um, like, love to go to and perform at? Um, what's that one called? I think it's called Rolling. Rolling, Rolling Loud. Loud. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, I, I would love to do that because they're just the big audience and just... Like, just the music I would be rapping and stuff, getting everyone just jumping and pumping, you know, and just, yeah, you know, just really... You're going to really help set the tone. Yeah. You know, you came yeah. here for a fucking yeah, show. Yeah, that's right. Like, that's... And I just see myself being that type of character. That's fair. I mean, there are a lot of acts that are known for their performances. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, for example, Hilltop Hoods are yeah. known to put on a fucking show. Yeah, that's right. Like, I've never been the one. Almost yeah. made it, but... Due to incidents before I had to leave um, yeah. the venue. But yeah. Yeah. Would have been would have been fun. Yeah, fuck yeah. But yeah, I've, I've heard they put on a show. Yeah, true. So you know, yeah. you can build that title up too. Yeah, fuck yeah. Did you go to Inside Out? I think I did, eh? I went yeah. to the one before COVID hit. Yeah, yeah, true. That was pretty good. Yeah. That's fuck the one in yeah. New EA. Um, there was one in Tamworth here. Oh, Inside Out. No, no, I yeah. know. Yeah, the Cursor yeah. Festival. Yeah, the yeah, Cursor. Yeah, that one was mint. Hefs and stuff. Yeah, that was actually really good. Day one is shit, though. You know day one? Yeah, he actually yeah. was a bit of a letdown, yeah, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, he was. I, like, I was expecting it to actually be pretty good, but, like, he can't sing, man. It's, like, on paper, he's like YL. Yeah, yeah. But in person, I, I didn't see, like, the hype. No. Nah. No, I just... Uh, one of my mates yeah. actually got a photo with him at Macca's. Really? Yeah. Yeah, true. Oh, I think I've seen, like, seen some people, like, getting photos with him at Macca's, eh? In yeah. the stash house clothes and that. Yeah, he yeah. was, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thoughts on stash house. People yeah, it's actually really good. House, yeah, I reckon it's actually a good brand, like, even yeah. in Tamworth and stuff. they got some pretty good clothes. I think, I think <laughs> the clothes are skits. The boys yeah. who work there skits. Yeah. But... I think it's a shame that their business when I see a fucking shitbox Navara or something with a stash house, <laughs> with a stash house sticker on the yeah, windscreen yeah. or up the uh, up, yeah. up the snorkel. Yeah, honestly, yeah, I can't. Yeah, I, I I don't know what the go there is, the boys. All the with the stash house stickers. Yeah, on the, yeah, I, yeah. I don't know what the go there is, boys. No. Like, yeah, no, that needs to go. It's yeah, yeah. It's probably as <laughs> up there with boys who have Cummins stickers on their yeah. Land Cruisers. Yeah, in my opinion, that's just silly. But, just, yeah. <laughs> anyways, what was the naughtiest thing you did in school, man? Um, it would have to be like fighting and stuff, and I'd say like um, I like uh, I remember one time I had like a teacher be racist to me and stuff, and I offered him out. The teacher being racist. Yeah. How yeah. so? Like it, it. I like nothing like. Can, uh, can we just, before we get into this, sorry, yeah. can you let us know your ethnicity? If that's um, all right? I'm, I'm Aboriginal. Aboriginal? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah nice. Yeah, Camilla, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sweet. Yeah. Good on you, brother. No, cheers, brother. No, yeah. so what was the story with the teacher? We look, just had to clear that up. Yeah, yeah. Like, look, I might be fucking, I might be like talking some shit here. I don't know, but like just the way he was coming off and stuff it was just like you know you, the only like there has to be a reason you're coming for me because you know what i mean yeah. like he was just having a go over over my socks or something wearing like wearing some sort of socks or I, something, I, I, I know what you're okay. saying yeah it, it's sort of like what he wouldn't say the same thing to yeah, a white kid exactly. wearing some different coloured socks. Yeah, that's right. Why is he at you for yeah, different coloured yeah, socks? Yeah, exactly. And just the oh. way he was just going on and stuff. And I was just like, and I was just telling, like, just pretty much just kind of brushing it off, just going like, go away sort of thing. And then he just, he came, pulled me out of the class and stuff. And then he's sitting there grabbing, like, grabbing my shoulders and stuff, going, come on, come to the office. I was like, mate, you touch me, I'm going to smack the fuck out of you. Don't and blame he just, and, and, and yeah, just, like shit like that happened and like I remember one time this um this guy like walked up to me like not like walked up because he was like hanging around but I was sitting there talking to my mate and he was sitting down next to me and then um 
he walked up and he's like, oh, you see it in my seat, right, 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 just fucking carrying on like a dickhead. Yeah. And, um, like, I'd, I I used to, like, real black out, and, like, really bad and shit. Like, I had really bad anger issues and stuff. And, I like, I still do now, but it's nothing. It's nothing. You can tame to, the beast. Yeah, that's yeah. right. And, like, I got control over myself and whatnot. But, like, back then. I don't like, blame I you, man. I've had, I've had racial struggles myself yeah, in school. Yeah. It's, being being an ethnic. bad for that. Being an ethnic myself, not, uh, I do have Aboriginal in me, mm, yeah. but I'm Maltese as well. Yeah, I yeah. felt the racism pretty hard at school. Yeah. I got suspended three times. Yeah. And I don't know any white kids that got suspended that many times. Yeah, yeah. I can't work it out. No. I, it's just the way it is. Like, it's you know, it's systematic system. racism. Yeah, it is. It's, I was just it's about disgusting. to say, it's, just, it's systematic. It that's is what, legit what it is. Literally, man, it's the system is making it for us to get in trouble. Yeah, the system just, doesn't make it for us to it, like yeah. achieve what we want in school yeah. because of the system. Yeah. That's not anyone else's fault, yeah. it's just the way it's it's run. It's and it's sad because And it's sad like, that teachers it's really fucking it's sad, sad teachers fold to it. Yeah. It's just I don't understand because like with myself, you know, like I've been through I've been through that struggle and stuff, you know, I, I came up from nothing and and you know, like I had to make something of myself. Like, I don't even... I don't live with my parents and stuff. And like, oh, right, eh? Yeah, and, like, I don't really... Like, I talk to my dad here and there, but I don't I don't talk to my mum or nothing. Like, you know, I don't... So really you've got, really had to fucking put your shoes on. Yeah, yeah, heaps. Like, big time, you know. Like, i got a family to look after myself, you know. Fucking... I, I can't go into got, too much. Have you got a like, kid? No, nah, fucking... I, I can't say too much, you know, but just shit, just... You got your own. You got yeah, your own yeah, shit on your plate. Yeah, and it's just it's hard to juggle like everything with me hobbies and shit, and just trying oh, to do what. Hundred like, percent. You love doing. You're you're, you're a young, pretty young guy working yeah. in an adult's world. That's like, right. Yeah. You're living in an adult's world now. You threw school yeah. away. Like you yeah. got to realize like you got to do something yeah. for yourself That's to get right. ahead. Yeah. Yeah. And, it's just, and I have to say, I rate really rate that you. Doing all this shit so young. Oh, cheers, man. I, I really it's, fucking it's appreciate hard to, that. It's hard to juggle all that shit. It and, is. It's fucking... You know? <laughs> yeah, it's having really your fi- Having your finger is. in a few pies is pretty yeah. hard for anyone, but yeah. you just starting out too. Mm, Fuck, yeah. man. It's fucking... Yeah. It is a it is a test. A hundred percent. It's a big test. And, you know, I, I'm really proud of myself and how far I've came. And oh, you should be commended, brother. Yeah. yeah. No, thank you, man. But um yeah I'm really I'm really happy and excited to see what like what's to come you know I hope uh, like uh, um this month I'm doing a um like a, a concert so like hopefully this year you know I, I just fucking like try and get as much concerts and I even want to try and fight this year too oh, get yeah. in the ring and stuff like that this year too like you know, try try and get all that shit because I I've been doing it for years now and I've been supposed to fight like years ago but never got around to it and um, yeah you know just people like pulling out and you know just not like you know what i mean just always something i don't know just always something you know just getting in the way and i know what you yeah, mean man yeah. yeah just challenges life throws yeah, at you yeah. and trying to yeah, yeah go through yeah, them. yeah yeah i get that bro what's yeah. what's some advice that you give other fellows in school that don't want to be in school um <clears throat> look it's just something I had to learn myself, you know. Some things that you don't want to do, you just got to do it, you know. And, like, it just depends, really, and it depends on the type of person you are, you know, and what you really want to do. Because you can't just go and do something that you don't know what you're doing, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you can't just, like, people that want to get rich and shit like that. You can't just get rich and just... Like, you can't buy. do a sitter on your ass doing nothing. Exactly. And not you have gotta, a You've got to always be stuff. scheming. Exactly. you got, you got to do something. You to, to just come to you. If you, you think something's going to come to you, yeah. it's not. Like, yeah, exactly. You're going you're gonna to be waiting yeah. while people are getting rich around yeah, you. Yeah, that's right. And, you know, I had to realise that one myself. You know, I had to really get into it, just make, make something for myself because... You know, it's sad. Like a lot of a lot of these young fellas, and especially like young Aboriginal fellas, you know, they just they just fall into the system of like just letting them like get taken away from their rights. You know what I mean? Like they, <coughs> I, I I can't comment to it 
can't comment on it from that perspective. Yeah. But as what you're saying, they they're really missing opportunities yeah, just because right. they want to do the stupid yeah. shit. Yeah, and not even just not wanting to do it. It's just they they fall into it and they don't look for like. Is it like almost like a product of their environment? Yeah. Yeah, a hundred percent. And that's a real sad thing yeah, to say. Yeah, it is. It's a hundred percent. It's sad, you know. And I, I grew, I grew up around that shit too. And how, you know, like, how big is that around here? It's like in, it's huge around here. And <laughs> what would you say to people in say Sydney who just don't understand what it's yeah, really like it's, out here for our yeah, indigenous it's youth? It's like it's really, it's really bad. Because it's by all means a joke. Yeah. It Why? Is. Are we letting it get to this point? Yeah, I don't understand. We would never let another race hurt themselves like this. No, it's and it's just like it just it's a joke. It just keeps going like it's getting worse and worse. It's not even getting any. I'm I'm not saying it's entirely Aboriginal people. No, there's a lot of other things around going on which they cannot. Yeah, that's a hundred. They cannot build themselves up because there's things limiting them, but. With all the money and spending the government thinks they're doing, where is it going? It's not going yeah, out here. Exactly. And if it is going out yeah. here, what is it helping? Yeah. And there are, <laughs> the, the terrible thing about that is there's heaps of people in town locally yeah. who are trying and trying and trying yeah. for our Aboriginal youth yeah. and they are not making any ground. No. I can't work it out. Yeah, Whereas it's the sad. government is supposed to be the government yeah. that looks after the <laughs> Aboriginal yeah. people. Uh, and I and feel they, like they're they slipping like, further away. And they try and preach that they prior, prioritise, like, make it the main priority for, like, like us Aboriginals, you know, to get the most, the most, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, to get us, go- but, like, it's not even, it's not even our fault when you really think about it. it. It's a system. It's legit being created for... It is. Like, and like, there's all these government organisations yeah. that are supposed to be in place to help give the Aboriginals mm. what they need. Yeah. And as you know, probably most of the time if you try and use these services, they give you either nothing yeah. or what they can give you is very limited because yeah. of the funding. Yeah, yeah. That's and right. all this funding is supposed to be going to them, but yeah. where's it getting allocated yeah, to? Because that's right. Because they've got no resources. Yeah, and it's just, I don't know, it's just really sad. And <clears throat> like with me... It's a shame. It, it's a, it's a really, it is a really big, like, deep shame. Like, I, I can't, I just don't understand it, you know? Like, mm. I, I'm lost for words. I don't even know, like, like really, like, what's It's a hard pill to it. swallow yeah. on knowing how people in our yeah. community are being treated. Yeah, I don't know. I just, just, just don't get it, eh? Like, and, like, with me, you know, like I said, can't, like, I came from nothing, you know, you just gotta, you just gotta get yourself out there, you know? It's always, like, the hardest step to get over is the first step. Hundred percent. That's yeah. the same with everything, eh? Yeah. Take everything. it one day at a time. Yeah. You just, know. You just gotta stay, stay patient. Keep, just stay waiting. Keep going. Keep working hard. There's a thing I was told. Time. It's six months. You know. Yeah. Just think about six months. A day is gonna have no changes. Yeah. You do the same thing for six months. Yeah. It's gonna be better. Yeah. You know. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Hundred percent. And yeah, like. Uh, it, yeah, it's hard. It's hard. Hundred <laughs> percent, bro. But yeah. at least you're on the right track. Yeah. 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 No, that's right. So, what was it like, I guess, for you, staying out of trouble with the law? I guess growing up in this sort of environment, mm. as we know, Tamworth unfortunately does not have yeah. a lot for young people. Yeah. Which <coughs> does lead a lot of young people into doing crime yeah yeah because there's nothing for them yeah that's right well i I definitely like the thing is i do i rap a lot about it about a lot of like incriminating things and stuff like that and um you know but it's it's all for entertainment it's it's for it's all for entertainment and and, you know like obviously i'm not the type of guy that's sitting here rapping about shit i don't do like, I, you know, I, I've I've done shit, you know, like... Yeah. And, and it's nothing that I'm sitting here being proud of, you know. People do shit, you know, do dumb shit that you, that you, you like, wish you regret, you know. You wish that you didn't do it and you know what I mean, but it's just... It's a part of life, It's hey. a part of life and the biggest thing is 
being a better being better from exactly that. people and, people yeah. remember the good things you do more than yeah. the bad things that's you right. do something good they'll forget all about yeah. the bad things you that's, did that's 100 percent right and you know like everyone forgives <laughs> it's in this environment it is it is hard like you know having just being being and, uh, and mad at the world and shit you know just f- like thinking fuck you to everyone you know yeah just, and just, i guess as well the other thing is would you have been as mad or like whatever like if there were more services out here yeah like, like if there was just we're pretty isolated like yeah i feel like until when you're a kid the only thing you can do here is either go to your mate's house or go down peel street yeah yeah and then when you're an adult it just turns into going to your mate's house going down peel street or going on the piss yeah like yeah. that's the only other thing that yeah. opens up and it's just unless you're in the yeah. fishing or like stuff yeah. like that but yeah. if you just want to do something around town there's not much yeah. to do yeah that's why i want to get out of here man like time life's really really bad for it like and um that's something i realized like going back and forth between between here and in queensland you know like People are so, like, there's just no love and support around here, really. Like, there's not a lot. And the small town complex is another thing. Yeah. You do one thing, everyone's going to talk yeah, about it and find exactly. out. Exactly. You go and do something in Sydney, no one cares. Yeah. Everyone no goes about fuck. their day, bro. Yeah, yeah, it's just another day, you know. Like, and you know what I mean? The small town gossip is just, yeah. Yeah. That, that's a big thing about yeah. town life. Yeah, and that's something that I even had to, like, you know, just brush off because... Oh yeah, it's don't, just, don't it's we just, all? Yeah. Anyone does something yeah. stupid, everyone talks yeah. about it. And it's just, it's just childish little games, you know. Like, I, that's something I don't understand is that a lot of these young people, you know, they just, they just play stupid little games, and you know, like, just don't get it, you know. Just yeah, like, keep it simple, fucking be normal, grow be up. you, grow up, fucking yeah, like, like legit. There's no. I, I, in my eyes, I just think that the reason, like, when people say, oh, what's the reason, like, of existence? It's the reason of existence is to, like, love and help and support one another, you know? Oh, exactly. And, and, you, you know, know not well, hating and fighting each other. Why are we all here biffing? Exactly. Like, exactly. Just Talking shit behind each other's back and just making up stupid shit, saying stupid shit. Oh, stuff. yeah. And as you, you know, know, like, if someone tells a few porkies, it gets around yeah, town quicker yeah, than anything. Exactly. And I support, like... Don't get me wrong, you know, I've been, like, I've been in that, like, I've hung around people like that, I know, I know exactly what it's like, you know, mm. and at the time, you know, you just sit there thinking it's all good, you know, you're right, you know, but then, like, when it comes around to it, it's not, it's not even you, like, that. even if you're the type of person to actually do that type of shit, you know, like, it's not you, you just fucking, you just do it, you know what I mean? You yeah. just don't even, you don't give a fuck to really want to change that shit, you know, you just want to keep making excuses and just saying... Oh, you're just a pussy, like, you know, just take a joke and shit, but you're not even joking, you're just sitting there, like, taking the piss over something that's disrespectful and rude, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And it's just like, like, this generation's fucked. This generation's This coming through fucked. schools now? Like, yeah. this generation? Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. What, what, like year, the, what, what, what year would they have been born? Like, would you start that? My age, 100%. So what, say, like 2006? Six, 2006, even 2000. 2004 even people in the like not really 20s but when they get into their 20s and shit man yeah so it's sort of like that 04 04 to 2010 yeah, sort of years yeah and it's just like i'm sure you grow out of it at some point but this social media bullshit's like it's really not helping it's honestly from my perspective i've been out of school for four years yeah. and it's completely different now yeah 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 like just from what i hear from my sister being in school like yeah it is not the same. No. Like, I don't know. Like, we had Snapchat and Facebook yeah. and everything, but yeah. the shit they can do on it now is crazy. It is. It's it's and beyond a joke. The amount of cyberbullying mm. is ridiculous. Yeah, and it's normal too. Yeah. It's like people just just think it's normal. You know what it, I mean? Honestly, like, man, I, it's fucked watching these. Yeah. Because you, you, I don't know about a lot of you viewers, but I see the odd school fight every now and again still school fights have been happening for ages oh, but now 100%. most of the time it's all starting off fucking phones fucking, yeah yeah tell and me it's, just, it's not true it's just bickering and shit like even like i've had i've had heaps of cunts pull blades out and shit and like 
like I nearly got my he- head smashing by a hammer and shit like that. And That's yeah, cool. So, no, like like out of school and stuff oh, like yeah. that. But you just they just never they would never do it and do shit. You know what I mean? And like yeah yeah i don't know you can really tell when a, pe- a person will do something and they won't you know what i mean like you yeah that's fair so it, it is still a lot of the same sort of teenage shit but yeah 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 but even but still just, man who the fuck brings a blade to school exactly what do you got to worry about at school, <laughs> like? exactly what what are, what's, just, what's what's wrong with a good old punch up exactly it fucking exactly like just why are you bringing blades to school? Oh, don't, don't fuck with me. Don't try and fight me. I've got yeah. a blade in my bag. Just have a, have yeah, a, dig. Fucking, have a fucking grip fucking on yourself. Take hands off. Exactly. Or, you know what I mean? Just fucking... Yeah, that's man shit right there. You know exactly. what I mean? Exactly. Be and man. Do you, do you listen to the rapper Lissy? Yeah. You'd know about yeah. the song Fist Up. Yeah, yeah. Exactly yeah. the same shit he's exactly. talking about. That's like... I, I, I want to make like some songs like that too, like preaching that type of shit, bros, because even though, you know, I rap about like, you know, nice and shit like that, you know, like, I don't really think, oh, yeah, like, I don't really support that shit. I think, fuck, like, it's stupid, you know. I, at the end of the day, man, if you really want, if you really want beef and stuff like that, right. and just punch on. Just you know punch I mean? on. At the, end of, exactly. at the end of it, you just both shake hands. Exactly. You it's know done. what I mean? You just... It's, you better, it's better that than it, being in a cell because you yeah, killed someone. Exactly. And is there what life worth the one fuck exactly, up they did. Exactly, exactly. What, because you, you can't have any self-control. Yeah, because you got to walk around with a knife, you think that's that's an okay reason for that yeah. person not to live anymore. Exactly. Just well, because he said something over fucking social media. You yeah, know what I mean? exactly. Or, you know what I mean? Like, it just it just doesn't make sense and it's just not yeah, right. Yeah, like, who's making these kids judge, jury and executioner? Mm, yeah. Like, these yeah. kids are getting around with knives thinking that they're one four. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's like, it's stupid. Yeah, it is. It's stupid. And like, I, like you, I understand. Would you like say One Four's music has at all like influenced these kids? Because um, it's hard. It's question. hard not to say it, but it at is, the same really time, hard. should like mm. it, it should be up to these kids to be able to interpret it as yeah. this is entertainment. That's right. This well, is. Like, it's like yeah. Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, exactly. Well, I'm sure you play Grand Theft Auto yeah. and haven't wanted to do a drive-by exactly. shooting. Exactly, and it's just, I, I don't know, like, that's a good question because... I guess there's the realism of it. Yeah. Like, it's happening in areas in Australia. Yeah. Kids might feel attached to it. Yeah. And yeah. feel like, oh, this is what they do in Sydney. Yeah. Like, I don't, yeah. I don't know. I mean, yeah, su- but supposedly, I, I, I mean, I suppose you could... Like, even when I listen to music and stuff like that, like, like certain music, like drill and stuff like that, I get pumped up and think, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, I could go do some shit right now, but, like, you know, be, would it's just the difference, you know? You, you have to have the control to, like... you gotta, to you got to look at it, it, too, as they're telling their story. They're not telling you to go do it. Exactly. Like, yeah, they're glorifying it. Yeah. But... These people also live that life. Exactly. They've they got a reason. They grew up. they got a reason to preach stuff. that. Exactly. A hundred percent. I a hundred percent agree on that. Because you know what I mean? Like, like, what's what's the point of, you know, listening to that in your mum and dad's house? Yeah. And then deciding, oh, I'm going to bring a knife with me because these exactly. comes to it. Like, yeah, exactly. You're really setting yourself up for failure. Yeah. It, yeah. Like, it's, uh, you might have the knife, you might win the fight, but you'll lose yeah. in the end. Yeah. And I just think, like, you know... If you, like, if you really want to be somebody, I guess, you know, you have to fucking think for yourself, you know. Oh, exactly. You can't just, you can't, you have to be a lady, you can't just follow and just hope that one day, like, you know, you'll make, like, get somewhere, I don't know, like, I just think, I just think that's not right, like, I, I, I think with myself, I think about things a lot more different than other people because... You know, I don't want to be like other people, you know? Yeah, like you, I, you want to be your own person, exactly. you know? Yeah, I don't want to do the, other, the same shit that everyone else does. I don't want to fall in the same category and the same system and yeah. shit, you know? Just, yeah, just got to stay unique, just be yourself and shit. And I think that's a good part about social yeah. media. Like, yeah. If there is a good part, there is a good part about it. Yeah. And seeing a lot of people on social media doing well. Yeah. That can really inspire you. Yeah, like, it is. It actually is inspiring. I, 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 like a hundred percent. That's one good thing I, I realized too. You know, like 
I'll get home from work and stuff like that, for an instance. It's nothing big or anything, but, you know, I'll be all tired and shit. And I'll say so. I'm like, no, fuck you, you know. I'll, I'll keep doing something. like go do a workout or something, even though yeah. I'm, I'm still tired, and you know. I guess, do you like Andrew Tate? Yeah. yeah. I, at the start, I didn't. Yeah, but me, yeah, me neither, but... Once I listened to him and, like, yeah. stopped listening to all the bullshit, really yeah. come around. Yeah. What he does for young fellas, like... It's crazy. And his message for... Young yeah. blokes or like blokes trying to get ahead. Yeah. Honestly, man. Yeah. I don't care what people say about the misogynism and all no. that. I, I'm not yeah. talking about that. No. I'm talking about his views on how young blokes can self-help. Mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. think he does that great. He does. He and does really good. He does a really good, like, well job of even saying it and stuff. You know, very just, well spoken, man. He doesn't even like. He doesn't sugarcoat it. He just gets straight to the point. No, tells no, exactly he's, how it is. He's very. How would I say it? Politically incorrect, but he's yeah. very well spoken. Yeah, yeah. And I guess that's a real inspiration. Like yeah. you know, look at what this guy does. Yeah. Look how well he is doing now. Yeah. yeah. But look how his attitude is. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, what what mm. do I change in myself to try yeah, and be better? Right. Will yeah. this will this help me? Yeah, exactly. And I think that's the pu- the purpose of living too. You just like I. It's evolution, you know what I oh, mean? Oh, man. Like, it's from the day that w- existence was, cre- like, pretty much created, whatever you want to call it, you know, Big Bang or whatever, it, that's what started from there, ev- ev- evolution. You're given one life. Exactly. Why be the slave of, the s- that's of right. society? Yeah, that's right. Why, you know, there, there is circumstances. Yeah. I don't, I don't hate on anyone who can't do stuff because they can't help it. Yeah. That's all fair enough. Yeah, there should be things yeah, in place really for those fair. people to be, yeah. you know, live a good life. Yeah, and never lose hope through that you know, type of stuff. To there should either. be there should be equal opportunities for people yeah. who can't do things as an able-bodied person yeah. or yeah. a person well of mind. But yeah. at the end of the day, if you're fine in the head, if you're fine in the body, yeah, and you don't try and help yourself, yeah, what's the point of like your exactly. life? Exactly, that's exactly right. That's the sad thing that. A lot of people, like, the way people are living now, that's the way they live, you know, like, and that's what I think social media is such a big, big problem is because, like, that's what it's created too. People I, false, you know, false dreams and, like, you know what I mean? And I feel like follow something, people limit themselves to their paychecks is yeah, another thing. Yeah, yeah, like, 100%. There is, you know, obviously the whole point of, like, yeah, you might not be able to get more money. Yeah. But there should be ways, like, people should be more motivated to try stuff or, mm, like, yeah. better themselves and just exactly accepting shit. Yeah, that's just, I, that's what I think, that's how I see, it, like, the point of living is I just don't, I don't know, I, I just think that's just, the, that's how life is, you know? Yeah, and, yeah, shit can be hard and whatnot, you just... You've got to keep doing what you're doing, you know. Just fucking put yourself out there. Accept any, like, all the hard challenges and all the hard times and stuff because it's going to come either way. You can't oh, exactly. just, you know what I mean? You can't just try and duck it and see what you can do to get around it. Just fucking just smash it, man. Just it's like a game of poker, man. You've got yeah. to use the cards you're given. Exactly. That's fucking, that's exactly right, you know. You just can't, yeah. you just, you know, you just got to deal with the cards that you dealt with. I want to talk about the rap career. Yeah. All right. How long have you been rapping for? So, I started making music, like, properly, like, recording myself and stuff and really trying to get actually good at good at it and get better, uh, like, for, um, what, it would have been, like, four years ago now. When you were 12? Um, yeah, 12, 13. Yeah, right. And, um... I've been doing it for a long time. Yeah. And How then, were you at English? I was really good at English. That was yeah. actually, that was the one thing, like, it's funny that you said that, actually. I was really good at, st- like, storytelling and stuff like that. Creative and, and writing. Yeah, yeah, and poems and stuff like yeah. that. I was good at poems and whatnot. And, um, and yeah, like, I was really, like, I'd, like I said, like, I was troubled in school, you know. It wasn't for me and shit. I was shit at maths and, and a lot of other things and stuff. But English was, like, one of my main things I was good at and, hundred percent helped me and um yeah I, I started um like freestyling and stuff like that like 
like rapping and stuff myself, not like recording or anything. Yeah. But like just rapping in general and stuff when I was like in grade four. Oh yeah. Yeah, just like legit, man. Like, um, I remember listening to, I think it might be Without Me by Eminem, and I'm like, fuck, this is like, you know, this is something I really like, really like, like. Yeah. You know? Just the feeling it gave me, and then um. You know, I just like, and then I just, I just started trying. I honestly don't even remember the first time. Actually, I remember having this little like half court little notepad, little notepad, and it looked like a, a basketball court, like a little half oh, yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, and it had like a fucking like as the pencil, it was like a a net, like a a ball, th- oh, fucking the net thing or whatever. But anyways, yeah, I I re- I, I rap in that. That was and, your um, black book. Yeah, 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 and try to fucking try to rap this song and stuff. I legit, I kid you not, man. I I was so scared. I had no confidence. I was like this little like small little kid, you know. I didn't have no friends. I got picked on and stuff. Had no like confidence or anything. Yeah. Um, and then I wrote this song, and I was like to the like to my music teacher. That was another thing I really enjoyed in school was music. And um, and I was like. And just asked, you know, can I can I do rap this song for the class? And um and she was like, Yeah, rah, rah, whatever, go go ahead and um and yeah, I did it and the whole class was like cheering for me, you know, just clapping. Mint. Yeah, like actually like it was a genuine reaction too. Like yeah. they were really like like, you know, shocked that I could actually do it and well, do such a thing. We've heard your music, man. And, yeah. And it's pretty good. Like, yeah, cheers, man. I, I appreciate that. I, I could imagine well, it's not this stuff that you wrote for the class isn't up to scratch yeah. with now, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> going off your building blocks, you're pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheers, man. But um, yeah, just you know, like, uh, um, do you know X X X and Yeah, 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 yeah. X. Yeah, he. That's when when I heard him. That's when I was like, yeah, hundred percent. You know, I'm I'm hundred percent getting into this. And um, I remember like I used to tell everyone I used to. Tell my mum, like I, I, I told my mum I'm gonna be a rapper. I, I said to all of my mum's friends and stuff, I said I'm gonna be a rapper and stuff like yeah. that. I full made up a little, like a name for myself. It was Lil Savage. Lil I Savage. Thought, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I used to have a, like a plain white hat from Kmart, and I ripped Lil Savage on it and oh, stuff man. like that. Yeah, and just like custom work. Yeah, 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 and just you know, just it was just funny shit, you know, and, and um, and yeah, man, when I got like. A little bit older, just one day, I, like I would freestyle every day, nearly all day, just in my room and stuff like that. And then one day, <clears throat> I was like, you know what? No one's here, you know. Like I can be as loud as I want. Just fucking record yourself, man. Like, mm. And I down downloaded um this app called Band Lab, and um, oh yeah, yeah, and just and just use that. Ever since I've used that app, like I, I legit. I kid you not, no one knows this, like, no one on social media knows this. I record my music on my phone. Yeah? Yeah, like, no, like none of it's, like, edited and stuff on the computer and stuff. It's all recorded on the phone. The software is pretty good, like... Yeah. At, from what I was saying, like, you can still hear it yeah, being from yeah, a phone. Yeah, But yeah. the mixing's pretty good on yeah, it. Yeah, but it's, yeah. yeah, it's still pretty good. And, like, it's even... It's, even it's to audible. A point, you can actually still actually listen it's to pretty it. audible like you can yeah. you can read it yeah yeah listen yeah because yeah. Yeah. i'm pretty sure like listening to uh, husky's old music and stuff man that i don't know what that was recorded on but it was nothing like fandangle mic no stuff. no but it was like, everyone starts somewhere exactly don't they? Yeah. you know what i mean and it doesn't even 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 then man if you have some people that really like that are really People who Open like it will listen to it either way. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And especially if you've got people that are actually like, that want to support and want to show love and stuff like oh, that. Oh, yeah. You know, that'll, because that'll be all for it. Yeah, you, know, you really can't upgrade unless you know you're getting yeah, better exactly. and like you're getting bigger. Yeah, yeah. And I guess having people who do back you when you're putting out the stuff that's not as good yeah. is a bit of a motivator for the yeah, future. Yeah, that's right. And it's not cheap to set all that stuff no. up. Like, I mean, to do it properly, you need a computer. Yeah. For something worth it, you're probably yeah. looking at two grand. Yeah. With the whole setup. Exactly. I, and I spent then like that's a, that's not even talking about your audio yeah, gear, software. Yeah. Yeah. Then that's probably another couple grand. Exactly. And you know, even I got like a little setup and stuff that I'm trying to get, trying to get working and stuff, so I can start. I've got a mic and a, and a computer and whatnot. That was like legit a thousand bucks right there. And, yeah. And yeah, it was. 
it wasn't it's not cheap man like your music and then you got to learn the software thing, yeah and you got to learn that's one thing i'm not looking forward to is having to learn how to produce my music and stuff because if you really want to be able to have to be able to make good music and shit you have to like like music is the biggest thing of theory and practice you know oh, what yeah. I mean? Having a theory thinking, oh, yeah, do this, do that, you know, like see what I can do, experimenting and stuff, and then practicing. You know oh, what yeah, I mean? man. And, then putting it and you need play. a lot of talent for both. Yeah, exactly. And it's, it's fucking hard, man. And like, and you know, just, and then, because a lot of people, you know, like with my music and stuff, right, you listen to it and you'll hear a little fuck up and you'll be like, oh, you know, he's not that good most like legit 99 percent of rappers and even like big rappers still they'll fuck up that shit just gets edited out yeah still and, it, and it's a hit you know what i mean mm. like it, and it doesn't matter who drake fucking chilling you know like any big artist from australia it doesn't matter where the fuck who the fuck you know that's the type of but shit that they do another thing to comment on yeah their stuff is a lot better yeah, yeah but you're also competing yeah. with someone who's got a whole recording studio yeah, exactly, from yeah. a record company yeah, versus you yeah. in your bedroom yeah. like obviously <laughs> yeah. you're not you know that's like putting yeah. a pair of dunlops up against a pair exactly. of tns exactly you know what yeah what are people going to pick, unfortunately? Yeah, yeah. That's you're right. still going to try and sell them exactly. lots, eh? You have to, you know, and you have to, like, you have to do what you, like, do what you got to do, you know, like, what you what you got, you have to make do with what you got, and, um, but, like, eventually, you know, like, I just, that's what I, that's what I was saying before, you know, you just got to stay patient, stay, and just wait, and keep working hard, keep grinding, because one day, like, you know, all that little things that you think that aren't really getting anywhere and stuff like that, you know, all the, that little, those little tiny things that you worked on and whatnot, it will all eventually show, like, yeah. and, like big time. And, yeah, I, I, I genuinely believe in that and I genuinely believe that, you know, I've got what it takes for a lot of things, this music, fighting, you know, anything that's done in my way, I genuinely believe that, you know, like, you can you can work and do it yeah and just yeah. and be something big you know and that's that's the real mindset you need and yeah a hundred percent you need the you need the confidence and stuff like even shout out to b-lo shout out b-lo shout out b-lo friend yeah. of the couch yeah. friend of our show fuck yeah but um yeah he's got mad fucking confidence he does and that's one like that will take him fucking 100 percent 100 percent and like he's still only he's only been like doing it for like he's fresh even, in the scene he's too. fresh into the scene and he's got the confidence for it and it's fucking and he's at that age to see he's at it. that age now where he can start going to yeah gigs. yeah exactly and what's it called and like you know when i i want to start trying to get like um like i was talking about it at the end of last year about getting um a concert and stuff like that. Well, we saw you doing an open mic thing at the yeah. Central Coast in a couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I'm gonna do that. Fucking um, on the thirteenth. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, right. So, um, Where's that at? It's gonna be in Newy. Newcastle. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so nice. Fucking yeah. I, I, I thought it was that, at the Central Coast, but no. Fair nah, enough. I, I'm not too. Oh, I think there's there's two, and twenty first might be on in Central Coast, and the thirteenth might be. In in Yui. In Yui, yeah. Yeah, so, right. Yeah. Oh, that'll be good. I hope that fucking I can put on a show and people enjoy it, you know, just yeah. to get a little bit of clout from it and and whatnot. But um but yeah, man, I'm trying to just trying to also get like heaps of people like into into the music and stuff, you know, like um I work I legit work with someone that um like a rap I, like he was like, oh, like someone told him that I made music and stuff. And he goes, oh, you're a little, like a, a little MC. You know, you know what that means, eh? Yeah, you know, yeah, 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 MC. Yeah, and I was like, yeah, fuck yeah. And he was like, oh, spit something for us. And, and yeah, I did. And he was fucking all over it. He was so keen. And and then he rapped for me. And he, like, he actually knew how to rap, you know. And, and I, I just want to get, like, uh, like I asked, I, I asked, I was like, um, or do you like record and stuff like that? And he goes, no, I just like rapping my free time and stuff like that. And he goes, I want to, but like, you know, I don't think I got what it takes. And I was like, fucking no, if you do, you know, you just got to like, 
put yourself out there, you know, you just got to do it. You know yeah. What I mean? You just, like, even I remember when I first started before, I was like, man, where do, what do I even do? Like, what a, you know, where do I start? Like, because I, I, that was the biggest thing that I really wanted to do, like, it was just start somewhere, you know? And then, and as soon as I saw the app and stuff, and I was like, oh, yeah, I can actually record music. I 100% took that, took yeah. that opportunity and just, and ran with it. And, um, and yeah, like, all, all posted on, on social media and stuff like that. And all my friends and stuff, so, like, had a look at it and, you know, just got some, like, started getting, like, all my mates and stuff helped, like, build up, like, like a little bit of a base for myself and whatnot. Like with making music and um yeah and yeah just I'm not too sure like I'm not like I don't really get like too much like fucking like shit from it you know what I mean like yeah I don't know but um yeah just trying to get as much people as I can just get it into it and because you know like that that's the biggest thing you need people around you to support. Hundred percent, bro. Hundred percent. Yeah. Learn from each other and stuff. You can't, you can't, you can't cross an ocean by no, yourself, no. Hey. Exactly. On a, on a rowboat. Exactly. You need, you need people to like. You need, you need a crew. Yeah, exactly. And like, yeah, like I'm, uh, like I'm real passionate about my shit. You know, and like when it comes down to it, you know, like that's what when I when I get into it, I'll get really into it. You know, and like that's yeah. what I think is a big big factor for me and that will help with me a lot is that I don't shy away from things, you know, I really Yeah, I'll yeah. Really if you see something there. and you wanna take yeah you wanna grab it, yeah. you're gonna try and grab yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. You're and not just, gonna let it walk by. Yeah, and just fucking and just run with it, man. Like yeah. you know what I mean? And I think that's how you, that's how you should live anyway. So yeah, I mean, sure it you need to have drive. Exactly. You need that purpose. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Otherwise, what's the, what the fuck's the point of living? Oh, exactly. You, you know what I mean? You can easily sit at home, do nothing exactly. all day. But Smoking fucking drugs and shit. Like, that's what people do, you know? They just don't do anything exactly. with their lives. Do drugs and <laughs> stuff. And, no, yeah. It's all right, but... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know? <clears throat> and as fun as that m- may be for people, you know? Like, I don't judge. Like, you know, I, I've... I sit there and have the biggest yarn with the fucking, with a heroin addict. I don't give a fuck who you are, you know. As yeah, long as yeah. you're, a, you're nice and respectful and you're, you're a, a genuine person. person, you know what I mean? Yeah. You, you know what I mean? But if you're going to sit there and be a bum and have nothing going for yourself, you know, and you just, you don't want to help yourself, you know, you don't want to do nothing for yourself, you know. What should what, you what, do? What, what's... What's the point? Exactly, what's the point? You know, like, I'm, yeah. not, I'm not like that. I'm in, I'm in my lane, so you got to be around people too that that are in in that oh, type of mindset 100 well. percent, man because you get just dragged down and i guess saying that you liked x like he really motivated you at the start yeah yeah what's your favorite style of rap because as we know oh. below liked x too yeah and juice well they had a real yeah. emotional style of yeah. rap and yeah. well that was really popping off when i was yeah. about 16 yeah 17 yeah um, yeah the SoundCloud era, like yeah, yeah, Lil Pump, yeah, yeah, X, Juice yeah, World, yeah. Um, oh shit, Ski, Ski Mask, Ski Mask yeah, 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 I was just about the same, yeah. Um, all good rappers, yeah, but yeah, yeah SoundCloud era. Oh, Lil Pump, you, you know, yeah, a bit on the fence, but yeah, yeah, yeah. He at the time he was pretty big. Yeah, he um, was. Yeah. Would you was. say that SoundCloud era really is one of your main ones that you go to? Um, it's, like, that was the biggest thing was, um, like, if you, like, if you really, like, listen to my first music and stuff, it was, like, heavily inspired by X. By that era. Yeah, and, and, but it wasn't anything like the emotional. Sometimes I'd do the emotional, but I, I would go for the old, like, the yelling and shit like that. Like, I was, I was into the... Uh, that's the the, the, the uh, ragey sort yeah, of yeah. I was yeah. I, that's what I started my first ever song, man. Yelling and, and shit into the mic and stuff and like um, bit, yeah. Just Rip Roach by yeah, X. That's Rip mental, Roach. man. That's fucking. That's one of my favorite songs and and like just mu- like songs like that, you know. Like, um, what's the other one? Ski Mask. Catch me outside. Nah. Force it failure. Um. Fucked up. Oh, I can't oh think. fucked up. Yeah, take fucked a step, up. Take a step, take a step back. back. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. one's crazy. Yeah, yelling. they're yeah. Oh, that they're shit, iconic. They're fucking pure iconic, man. 
But um, but like even but now, man, like I, as much as I like that shit, and I you know I I try and keep my music to like not one thing. I try and or, like try and change it up as much as possible. Well, I was just about to say, have you heard how Playboy Cardi sounds now? Yeah, it's awesome. Wait, awesome. I love what, it. Like, has he changed up now? He's changed his voice. Yeah, really. You want to hear it? Yeah, sure. It, it really. is skits. Yeah, true. Because last, like, last time I heard of Playboy, he sounded like a dickhead. <laughs> Bro. You got the two minutes 40. This is Carnival on um, yeah. Ty Dollar Sign and Kanye's new album, Vultures. Yeah. Yeah, this is um, his verse. Is that Playboy? That's really? Cardi. Sounds like Yachty and Future. That's exactly what I was going to say. Old it Yachty. reminds me of Lil Yachty. That's actually exactly... Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, Like, that cool sounds way. better. Like, that, uh, that's good. I think he's got a lot of potential with that yeah. voice. But yeah. he still goes back to the high-pitched yeah. voice every now and yeah. again. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I read the Reddits. Yeah. They all think that it's just like a sub-character. Really? Like, that voice is just, like, one part of him. Mm, yeah. It's not his new thing. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I personally think he should more, yeah, delve more into 100%. that. Yeah, 100%. He would get way... He would get like, more clout and stuff and all from that. Look how big Yachty got mm. when he was sounding like that. Yeah. Talking about stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Future's made a whole career yeah, of it. Yeah, exactly. And I feel like them, Future and Yachty, are two heavily inspired people Especially that Future. Voice. I reckon Future's, been one, like, one of the best, like, I... Like the Migos and stuff. I don't like I Migos don't, too. Yeah, yeah. Migos are just really good. I, I honestly think the mumble rap era was probably one of the best things that yeah. came out of rap in yeah, the um, 2010s. Hundred percent. Like you can hate on Migos pi- want, pioneered the way for yeah that mumble rap genre. Yeah, without yeah, a doubt. Hundred percent. And like as much as I like that that the boom, I love the boom bap. I grew up on boom bap and stuff. It's different because it's a. You know, people hate on mumble, and I understand why. But you gotta understand is that music's uh, music's uh, music has evolved. Like boom back, uh, rap back then, you know, it was like that. You you take your time and you slow. You know what I mean? Yeah, it yeah. Never that slow, it was rap it was a lot more um, like that. Back back in the nineties, it was a lot more straight rap was, was yeah. the main thing. Yeah, like, yeah. A lot of MCs started out doing. Rap battles on streets. Yeah, yeah. So, I guess there was a real sort of comp- competitive edge mm. to it back then. Yeah, yeah. Whereas now, people send rappers nowadays tend to base their music off their character, mm. mm-hmm. more of just be comp- competitive yeah. and like real hard. Yeah, I know what you mean. Um, yeah. Real good examples: Wu Tang. Like yeah. All of them. Do you listen to that? Yeah. Yeah. Hundred percent. As as you'd know, all them guys. You know, they were pretty tough cunts back yeah. before they got in the rap. Yeah, like, yeah. Um, did a lot of straight rap. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, nine. What was it? I think it was eight, and then nine. Mm. Um, nine boys in that group. Yeah. Um, all coming together, mm. rapping. They're all mm. got that street rap battle mm-hmm. sort of mentality. Mm-hmm. They're all yeah. competing with each other. Yeah. It was just hardcore, yeah. hardcore. Fuck yeah. And. We're not having that same output no. nowadays because I feel like it's social media is really getting us to learn mm-hmm. pe- people like for face value. Yeah. yeah. So I feel rappers now are more centering their music based on their personalities yeah. rather no, I, than. I see exactly where you're coming yeah. through on that. Like, cause, yeah, that's 100%. That is actually really, it's a good take on it because it's, yeah, I don't know, like. Like I'm, a, I'm in a point of of my career, like my rap career. Obviously, you know, there's so much room to get better and whatnot. Yeah. But you know, like I try and I want to be like a di- like be different. You know what I mean? Like like Husky, for an instance, right? He he changed the way of like the Aussie mm, rap scene. Big he did, time. bro. Like the way he his style of rap and stuff. Like he. Honestly, like X and stuff, yeah, he was a very big inspiration and stuff for this, for like when I first started. But like right that's now, that's more Husky. the international mainstream yeah. scene. Yeah, I feel like yeah, Husky. Yeah. For 
the Australian saying to get to where it was now, he was yeah. a very pivotal figure. Well, I reckon Husky's the best artist in Australia. You do? I, I generally That's believe that. honestly not a bad take. Yeah, him and Chillin, I reckon both of them are both. Because I've never heard anyone spit like that. The way I, they, the yeah, way they I, rap. I listened to Chillin at, oh shit, man. First song I heard of his was called, and it was a most recent song that was out at the time by him. It was old school, like a Nokia. Yeah, I know that song. Yeah, yeah bro, yeah. that was mint. Yeah, fuck um, yeah. And obviously around that era, you had Little Snow as well with him. Yeah. Um, yeah, Little Snow. Yeah, yeah. Husky. Yeah. Uh, Chilling it. Yeah. What was that? Two hundred one or something? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, two hundred one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. two hundred one. Yeah. 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 And them boys were putting out fucking yeah. music. Fuck yeah. Um, did you ever listen to Servo? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Mental that's, that's song. That's actually a really good song. That'd be one of my favourite by yeah. Husky. Yeah, yeah. same. Uh, I, like, I, I like, like, Old Me Part 2 and shit, like, like that type old of... Me. yeah. Yeah, yeah, and fucking, um, like, Barely Awake and Paranoid, like, that type of... That type of rap, like, that's, like, proper Australian rap. Do you think eyes. Western Sydney's still where it's all happening for rap in Australia? Um, or do you think Brisbane's sort of taken the cake a bit now? With the... See, like, with the... You're talking about, like, the drill and stuff, Just, just like, normal, like, just, just the normal. rap scene. Like, where do you think it's at mm. at the moment? Because, obviously, yeah, we got drill, which is in Western Sydney, but Western Sydney has its own style as well yeah. which isn't drill yeah obviously you got rappers like cursor forte yeah. at large yeah um yeah that kid curve they're uh, not drillers yeah but yeah they're also very big in rap i think some would say even bigger than children yeah. and husky yeah 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 i, I, I reckon no. like i reckon like that kid curve i reckon i don't know it's hard to it's hard to like really say it, to be honest because you know like O four six is it? Like Um is that O four six. The O four six, it's like they do like singing and stuff like that. Like not like oh. they do rapping and singing like they it's like they Oh, is that that's from Brisbane, aren't they? I think so. I'm not yeah, too are sure. Yeah, they the what the what? Are they the uh, like Islander yeah, boys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. they're from Brisbane. Yeah, yeah. I but in so. Brisbane, you've also got Lissy. Yeah, you've got yeah. that um, I, I group don't know. he's I in called maybe the West. Probably the Brisbane then, because like as good as one four is in in that twenty one you know, district. Twenty one well. district, you know, they're all good and stuff. But like, man, Brisbane. No, nah, uh, yeah, no. Nah, that's not even now that I think about it, man. Brisbane is actually where it's at because you've got heaps of people that came out of that. Like yeah. heaps, of, heaps of artists, you know what I mean? And like, and I don't know. And it's all different, like from it, drill and... And, and it's a different that. area. They're yeah. doing different things. Exactly, yeah. No, they're talking about different stuff. Yeah, There's exactly. a different. It's a whole different culture. Yeah, and exactly. style of rap, really. Yeah, yeah style of rap. It's like, like East Coast thing. versus West Coast, yeah. really. Is it yeah. Sydney versus Brisbane? Yeah. Well, Melbourne used to be really popular for rap in yeah. the early 2000s. Yeah. But yeah. I feel like... Nowadays, Melbourne isn't talked about as much. No, I, no, not really. I couldn't tell you many people coming out of Melbourne. No. There's Posse Shot. Have you ever heard of them? I think so. They're not they're bad. They're, familiar. they're um, they've got pretty cool merch. Yeah, yeah. true. Really. Yeah, they got yeah. like this um panther, and it just yeah. says Posse Shot across yeah, it. Yeah, true. It looks sick. Yeah, fuck yeah. Um, but yeah, they they're cool. But that's really the only people I know coming out of Melbourne. Yeah, yeah, true. Do you um, know Dibs? Dibs, nah. No, he's fucking, he just, like, he's, um, like, a, he's an MC artist too, pretty much, like, an underground artist. Do you, I'm, I'm on this side. Do you yeah. think there is a big difference between a rapper and an MC? No, you could be a it, rapper. All right, all right, this is a big thing, right? Like, because when, like, artists like me and stuff like that, man, you're, you're hungry. Really mm. hungry, especially being Australian, because like you don't really like look at all your American artists and that. You know, like it music's so big in America. You know what I mean? Yeah, Over yeah. here, it's nothing. It's it's hard. It's hard. Like it, being Australian artist, you know, it's actually hard to get your music out there and whatnot. And uh, I guess the way I'm trying to say it is, you know, you call 
Cursor says it himself. He's MC yeah. Cursor. Yeah. But Kid Leroy's a rapper. Yeah. Is he an MC? No. 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 Exactly. exactly. I, I think yeah. there's there's a there's a line you have to cross. Yeah. And I feel like that is a big thing with rap. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Rap tends to get a lot of people in it who aren't yeah. in it. Yeah. If that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. And I think you really do have to define yourself if you're an MC or if you're just a rapper. Yeah. Especially yeah. if you want to make something of yourself. Exactly, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah Kid Leroy's made something of himself, yeah. but he's not a rapper. No. He's yeah. done rap songs, yeah. but he's not a rapper. No. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, you know, like, you just get to a certain point when with your artists and, so, like, with, and with heaps of artists too, you know, they get to a certain point where they get really good, you know, they've released all these hits and stuff, and and then they just tend to start slacking and stuff, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. And it's just, it's it's piss weak, to be honest. Like, I don't, I, I hate, that's one thing I hate about music, about this music industry, like, you're saying it, you say it with everyone, everyone, man. Like, mm. you, like with, with us, like, small artists and stuff, we... Like, it's, it's, I've, I've heard heaps of songs that are better than big artists because just because generally how hungry they are. Yeah. You know what I mean? How hungry they are and how driven they are to make a really good song for people to listen to and be like, it's to make a hit, you know what I mean? Yeah, bro. And, but big artists and stuff like that, like, you know, they'll make a big hit and then they'll just go back to making... You know, and I guess the other thing is ghostwriting. Yeah, ghostwriting. Ghostwriting's a big, a big thing. thing. Uh, exactly. Huge thing. Really big thing. I mean, I guess mainstream rap, you're bound to expect it. Yeah. Um, yeah. There are a few guys who still write their own stuff. Yeah. And that's all well and good, but yeah. the industry's really changing. Yeah, I think is. you've really got to look at rap as two sides. There's mm -hmm. the mainstream side, which is all Hollywood. Yeah. And then you got, you know, the actual rap. Yeah. which is a lot more, how would I say it, low budget. Yeah. But yeah. the work that comes out of both is good. Mm. They're just very different styles. Yeah, Especially, it, it makes sense. Yeah. Like, from a business perspective, these big companies have to make something that's not yeah. bad on ears. Yeah. Good for radio. Yeah. But it does really make a mockery of the industry. Yeah, like, it does. the genre. Yeah. And, yeah, like... like I don't know. I like. I don't want to get f like, like big and famous. But I, I, if I generally like really get into this, you know, I, I generally do think that like I'll get somewhere with it. Like actually get big. But you know, I don't want to be like fucking anything really big. You know, I just yeah. want to like. I just want to see how far I can generally get. How good I can actually really see get. See where it know? takes you. But yeah, exactly. You, you're good at it, so you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. There's more opportunities, like trying at it and. Yeah not oh how would i say it you're not really putting all your time just into this yeah but that's another finger you it's another pie you got your finger yeah, in exactly. exactly yeah and it's just like it's a big opportunity too you know like having that having that there just like just in, like for an instance right if if my fighting stuff doesn't end up being something all well, my music most likely will and it's the other way around, you know, if my music isn't, then, you know, my yeah. fighting would be, you know what I mean? And because either way, you know, I just think about it as, like, you could never fail if you genuinely put your all into it, you know, put your heart exactly. into it, you know, you can't... Because people will say, oh, you know, you fail, you know, whatever, at least you tried. You can't You can't fail, though. Did you really try if you failed? You Like, I, I just, like, that's why... If I you fail, does it mean game over? Exactly. It, yeah. it doesn't. It it don't mean like, don't mean game over. It doesn't mean anything. It exactly. just means failure is just a, is just uh, uh, failure is just a lesson, pretty much. Like it's a it's a loss, but a, a loss is a lesson. You know what I mean? Exactly, bro. And yeah. I guess now, like, talking a bit more like in rap. Yeah. Chillnut's coming here to do a show. Yeah. Are you keen yeah. for that? Hundred percent, man. What, I did, um, what are your thoughts on the age restriction, first of all? I, I, I was freaking dirty about that, man. I, like, I saw that. I, I was like, fuck, yeah, I'm so keen to get on that. Like, to, to if you know. you could say anything to Chillnut about, like, wanting to come or, like, at least see him, what yeah. would you say? Like, 
Um, because obviously it is a real shame someone is. like you who really yeah. wants to improve as a rapper, yeah. Yeah. local kid, he's come to your yeah. town. What yeah. <laughs> really, how do you think, like, in all honesty, say, should children at offer, offer something for the fans who are younger? I think so. Like, I why reckon. can't he go to the Yuffie? Yeah. You know what? Yeah. what what's wrong with him? You know, going to the Yuffie just, during the day, like, like I, I reckon so too. If he wants bodyguards, fine. Yeah, like, that's fine. Just make him say they like sick cunts exactly. and we'll talk to the kids and stuff. Kids, I, I reckon so too. Kids aren't gonna come there and you know rob him or anything. Exactly. He's like probably on all their playlists. Yeah, he, that's right. And I think it'd be great for him for the fans. Yeah. All the mm-hmm. all the kids being like, oh, chilling at came exactly. to the Yuffie. Yeah. Let's, exactly. You reckon we should organise it's it? A hundred percent. That would be a big thing. And, like, even even for me, man, like, I, I reckon, like, yeah, I'm, like all I, I'm just thinking, you know, like, that would be a big opportunity for me because if I genuinely got to actually meet him, you know, and show him, like, something, you mm. know what I mean? Like, that's a big thing, you know. Not a lot of people get to, like, to to get to do that type of, type of get to say that or, you know, like, I've rapped for... For chilling, you know, like uh, someone rapped to Annalie Chopper when he came to Australia here. Did and, they? Um, yeah, and he's like, he's a small artist too, you know, and you know, and just just stuff like that. Like I would love to do that. I'll, uh, you know what I mean? And yeah. That's how you really get yourself out there, you know. That type of confidence will hundred. I don't know how days. far rapping for NLA Chopper will get you. Yeah. <laughs> like. Oh, yeah. Unless you're talking about slutting yourself out or something, <laughs> but you know, yeah. fair enough. If you yeah. had the opportunity, you'd do it. Yeah, true that. But um, yeah, man. Oh, cause he did um, Shillin it did a a competition thing where like um, like people from their hometown. Yeah. Like, so like for me, for an instance, I had to post on my Instagram like a a song of um to so if it like if the song if so i was supposed to make a song right yeah if it was good enough and chilling it liked it you know then i could fucking go on the concert with him like from like when he comes to cameras yeah and um and yeah i i did all that and um and he like he he looked at all of my stories because i posted like four did six he? songs yeah and he looked at all like did he reply songs. to anything he didn't reply chill but, come on bro <laughs> <laughs> just just Look, I've got the kid here. Yeah, he, yeah just He's in a storage on. unit telling me how he wants you to reply to him. <laughs> come on, give the kid come a break. On, come on, man. Just come on, you're a good bloke. Yeah, come on, man. You know that I want it. And you know that you want it too, but yeah, it's yeah, just, it is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah. Um, he's a busy guy, as, yeah, as we know. He's, he is yeah. one of the most talked about rappers and, in Australia. Like, I, like, I'm, like, I know for, like, with other people too, he, he looked up... Heaps of other rappers' stories. Did he look at Belo's? Um, I don't even know if he did. He do one. Belo did do a chill. He did. He he did did it. I I don't think he. He he never mentioned it to you, anyways. I don't think he, like, I don't know if he saw a story or not. But I know that he saw a heap. Like, I'm pretty sure everyone's story. Yeah, right. He just didn't. He probably wouldn't have. He couldn't respond to everyone. Obviously, he said that. Because you would post and say, oh, like, I have 10,000 people. Like, however many a lot of, people. A lot to go through, Yeah, eh? heaps to go through and whatnot. He liked one of my, um, my, like, my mates, um, like, little snippet of his thing. Oh, yeah. And he's from, he's from Tamworth. Is he? Yeah. He is. Yeah, and he's, um, he's, like, he's pretty much, like, been doing it for two years, you know. And, um. What's he go under? What's his name? Um, I honestly don't know, eh? Like, he has... I have to have a look, man, because he he goes on like o, like under two names. His Instagram name is Papa Pacey, and then his oh, yeah. and then his SoundCloud name is Mick Lovin. You know Mick Lovin from yeah Mick yeah, Lovin yeah yeah yeah, and um yeah, but, yeah cool. Yeah. Well, he's one artist coming to Tamworth. Yeah. Wes has got a lot of artists in lately. Yeah. Such as, you know, Amity Affliction, DJ Havana Brown, yeah. Illy, Jessica Mowboy, Chillnut, like, yeah. as well. And I'm making the right moves, like, as you know, there isn't a lot out here. Yeah. If we're getting, I guess, artists people know coming to Tamworth, is that a good thing for 
I guess, the community, getting more exposure mm. to these yeah. acts. Yeah, 100%, and I, I reckon. I think, as well, would it be better for West to maybe move into, say, getting some local stuff as well? Like, yeah. you know, maybe they have a night where they get local rappers. Yeah, and yeah. They... What, like you might have, with yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe yeah, you've got 100%. to audition to go on, but yeah. say you do a set for so long and then that's it. Yeah. Someone else comes on. Yeah, yeah. Why I, don't they do something like that? I, that's what, like, I wanted to actually start doing something like that because, um, like, around in New South Wales, they don't, they apparently, I'm pretty sure, like, like 90% sure that they didn't do that in some ways. They didn't have small artists and stuff yeah. perform. And, well, before they started doing all that, they yeah. had Blazers Nightclub. Yeah, yeah. Do you think they should bring it back? Like, yeah, 100%. Just stop making it only open anything, for acts? Or? Anything that's legit that can help push people out there, you know, fucking do it because, you know... There's, there's no nightlife in Tamworth anymore. What's, exactly. What's your thoughts it's on, like, like the, kids, think the kids you're growing up with? It's just... You are all turning 18, yeah. like, in the next few years, and there's nothing going on besides, <laughs> really, what... One pub in Peel Street. Yeah, I don't know, man. They just need to. They need to start like doing something because it's just like it's just getting beyond a joke, you know. Like Tamworth. Don't get me wrong. Like Tamworth has got a lot of people because of the opportunity. Like yeah, a lot of like yeah. you know, like a lot of people. There's a lot of work from, opportunities. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And a lot of people move from different countries to to come to Tamworth. And to, there is to, for work. There is stuff. a better quality of life here compared yeah, to other regional areas. A lot areas. of other places, but. At the same time, once the work day is over, what are you doing? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know, what I'm, that's exactly right, and that's how that's how I feel too. Because you know, like I don't have the like ever since I started working, you know, I don't have the opportunity to just go to the gym and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, or just the, go to school and see your mates. Yeah, you know? and you know what I mean. And even then, go hang out with your mates and stuff. What are you like going to be like, doing? Just drinking beers exactly, or smoking pot? Exactly. Exactly. Sitting around just having a yarn. You know, as and good as that sounds, you know, you know as good as that it's, is, it's not. It's you, you don't very. Really be doing the same shit it's every very day. repetitive. Exactly. Like they're really your only options. Exactly. Besides yeah. Taking a trip to Newcastle yeah. or going to the dam or something mm -hmm. like but you're leaving tamworth for yeah, all that stuff that's that's exactly right yeah. you know what i mean like i i left like um i went to newcastle on sunday and, and man came back on monday and i was just dreading coming home because you just got nothing to do here uh, you know what i mean you, you can't really say it's the fault of businesses who mm. do try and do stuff yeah it's no business owner's fault there's nothing to do here yeah but it's it's really, I guess, the isolation of things. Yeah. Unfortunately, we're not on the coast. Yeah. As you know, everything's on the coast because yeah. that's just how we're built. Yeah. That's, but <laughs> that's there really life. needs to be more options out here to do something apart from being yeah. at home. Yeah. Like or going to the pub. Yeah. To they have to. They have to start doing something because, you know, it's just getting like beyond a joke, pretty much. Like. Oh, know. it is, man. Like. How many people do you know move to Newcastle? Heaps. It, it's like a a ritual for people. Exactly. You turn 18, yeah. get accepted to Newcastle yeah. Uni, goodbye Tamworth. Yeah. No young That's people That's my plan. Stay. That's legit my plan. Yeah. Just, just get my money up and just move to Newcastle because I ain't fucking moving here no more. It's, I'm over it. <laughs> it's honestly not a, like, uncommon occurrence. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, can't really blame you. Yeah. Well, I hope you don't mind me asking about the war yeah. in Ukraine. Yeah, fuck yeah. I, like, I don't know. I haven't... That's going on for years now, eh? Oh, what? It'd be... A, I think it's in its second year? Really? Yeah. Yeah, it's... I don't know, man. It's just... It's fucking pointless. This shit's pointless. I... I think... There's levels to it. Yeah. There's a lot more than what we're being told. Yeah. And I, I think, like, it just needs to be different, you know, like, and it, America's really fucking bad, like, compared to Australia, like, it, yeah. it's, it's the worst for it, but, like, in, you know, in a lot of countries are really like, like, the Matrix type of systematic type shit, you know what well, I mean? I mean, it, where's it end? Yeah. Everything, 
leads to something else. Mm, and yeah. all this money shit is just ridiculous. Mm, yeah. And we've really got a bad system in mm-hmm. Australia. We've got two main supermarkets mm. that run everything. Four major banks that run everything. Um, what else have you got? You've got three main phone companies, two main mm-hmm. airlines, yeah. Qantas owns Jetstar, yeah. and then you've got the other one, um, yeah. Virgin. Mm-hmm. You know, where's the competition in Australia? Yeah. Australians, Australians, for a lot of things, only have one place to spend their money mm-hmm. for that type of thing. Yeah. And, and, like, and even when you think about it too, well, like what, how much did Coles and Woolworths make last year? Record profits. Yeah. I don't know what the figures were, but it was a, it was in the billions. It was, yeah, it records, was in the billions. Record. They never made more. And they're chucking like how much on fucking food, you know, and like up in their prices and that. Honestly, how hard has it been to pay for groceries since all that? It's hectic. It's That's a, like you dread they, to go to the, to the shops. They they announce all those profits. Yeah. And Australians that um, saved less money last year than they mm, ever yeah. had. Yeah. Because everything else went up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What is going on? What? It's I've a real spit no in the face. It is. It's a huge spit in the face. Because just, we're paying like, these people to feed us. Yeah. And they're boasting about their profits while we're getting poorer. Yeah. And I guess as well, how does that really make you think about should Drake respond to Kendrick Lamar for calling him out? Oh, yeah, I saw that. Um, what's it called? Didn't Kendrick diss a couple of people? I think he did, yeah. I think he dissed J. Cole, too. I'm not, I'm not opposed to that. I think, I, I'm pretty sure he did, because I think um, I'm J. Cole... I'm not opposed to that. It, it was fucking pretty good, though. Yeah, but, but like, did are you J- a fan of J. Cole? Yeah. Oh. yeah. I mean... I, I was starting to like you. He's, like... I don't listen to, like, J. Cole, but he's fucking really good. He's really good. I... I've got mixed emotions on him. Yeah. I think he's very pretentious. Yeah. His, yeah. His whole motto is being a rapper who's not like other rappers. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I really think it's very pretentious. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? Um, yeah, I get what you mean. Like, I guess gangster rap is what it is. It's yeah. gangster rap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to be in gangster rap, I think you should at least be a gangster. Yeah, exactly, yeah. I mean, his music per se isn't so gangster yeah but he does hop, hop on a lot of yeah. like features for yeah. gangster rappers yeah I, and every time he does it fucking hurts my head it, it, it's like it's it, like when it chris brown jumped on does. superhero yeah you know like chris brown didn't need to be on superhero yeah, yeah. i feel like when j cole jumps on a track with 21 yeah with or 21 someone like is that a, 21 is a big example of that because it, it completely changes the sound of the yeah, song yeah and <clears throat> it's not the kind of rap that I like. No. It really turns the rap from like being J-Cole, real hard, gangster, like real... Role Models was a good song. That was that was one song by J. Cole that was like... I'm not I'm not going to sound he, like a wanker here, but I don't really know it. Really? <laughs> no. Nah. Role Models, nah. that's like his biggest song. Really, that's like I don't a really huge listen to song. Really, yeah. Like, when I like, when I think I don't like someone, I just yeah, don't give them any yeah, attention. True. Yeah, true. Well, that's one of his like big songs, man. Like that was actually a good, like the one song I like I listened to of his, and I listened to that, and then you know it was really good. Like it, he J Cole's that type of rapper, right? Yeah. You know how I was talking about earlier. They when they when they're at a small certain point in their career. And they're really hungry, and they'll make really good music. Huh? Have you read from that role model? <laughs> I, I don't, I don't, I don't listen to Eminem because I don't like him. Really? I, I know Eminem songs I like, but yeah, I don't branch out. Yeah, yeah. true. Yeah. Um, yeah, but like he, after that man, he he made that really good that one good song after that. He hasn't made a song like that since. And like his his. That style of that song I guess too was actually good. Tyler the Creator's a bit like that too. Yeah, I, exactly, I really yeah. liked Goblin. Yeah. Um, Flower Boy was a good album. Yeah. But yeah. I feel like Igor just changed it. Yeah. I, I, I don't think he's done a good song since mm, Flower Boy. No, no 100%. That, that album probably, yeah. Mm. Oh, he's done a few little like YouTube releases yeah. that have been pretty good with yeah. other artists, but yeah. nothing. Major, in my opinion, yeah. I just yeah. I don't really like that style. Yeah, I yeah. feel like his like real hardcore style mm. was where it was at. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's why X was so good though because he was so 
he was like he was hungry. He wasn't hungry for the money and shit. He was just hungry for the for what he was doing. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like just to like for the message and stuff to get his message across. And he stuff was cooking and, like, up. He was. He, yeah. And like he wasn't. He he didn't slack off. He didn't. He he was a hot that motherfucker. You know, question not uh, seventeen. The, the yeah, album yeah. seven. He was up for a, pretty much a whole week. Up all all day. Like didn't get any sleep for a whole week. Just making that album. And, and like, you can tell it's a pretty good yeah, album. Yeah, it, it's a really when good album. When you've got hyperfixation on something like yeah. that, it really comes out. Yeah, 100%. And the, just the and work, work ethic. The budget he like, had for that too, like I think, yeah. really helped him. He yeah. had people who could help him yeah. make it better than yeah. what he could. Because that's when 17 and was the whole pivoting point of his whole like, career. Pretty it much. was, bro. Yeah. And I think even... When you listen to that album from start to finish, yeah, the intro how he explains mm-hmm. it, like seventeen yeah, collected yeah. on my thoughts, memories, and yeah. nightmares, whatever it is. Yeah, I think it's like really sets the tone for it the does. album. Yeah. And yeah, the you can listen to the whole thing mm-hmm. and not have to skip anything. No, because they're and all good fucking songs. Because man. exactly, and I think he really did put so much effort into 100%, 100%. that. Hundred percent. And. He had sound no one had. Yeah. Like, yeah. do you know the chick he samples, Shiloh Dynasty? Yeah, yeah. Honestly, man, I listened to her yeah. stuff just the unsampled just, shit. Just, just raw, eh? I listen, yeah, yeah, I listen to her music same, a lot. It is, it's like, really good. Ex, yeah, it's crazy how good ex she is. X exposed her to the yeah. world, really. Yeah. And unfortunately, she's not really about the fame or, like, yeah. wants to do it yeah. properly. Yeah. But... It really opened up the doors for a mm. different sound mm-hmm. to come into rap yeah, and be used 100%. as a sample. Like 100%. a girl sounding sad playing a guitar, mm-hmm. like, you know, that's pretty hard to like try and turn to a rap beat, but he yeah, did. Yeah, yeah. And you no, never really heard that no, before. No, 100% you didn't. And just the way he, the way he rapped about like the emotion and stuff like that, you know, like what's... Jocelyn Flores, that that's Jocelyn big, Flores, yeah, yeah. That that was a big one where it was like that was about that girl who, who he killed, killed herself, killed, yeah, 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 that he was mates yeah, with, yeah, 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 and fucking, but that man, like just the way he rapped and that, like obviously, like when you listen to that music now and stuff like that, you're like, oh yeah, that's the old, fucking like, gen generation of like that music, you know what I mean? But, yeah, like, bro. But even still, then, like for when that came out. That was so so ahead of its time, and just all the all the work that he put into it, you know, it was just it was just crazy. Yeah, like a big in, big inspiration. Now, I hope you don't mind. Yeah. We have a new segment. Yeah, it's called Eats or Uktfe. Yeah. In this segment, we will give you a list of things to do mm-hmm. or places, and you tell us if they are if uh, if they are Eats or Uktfe and why. Yeah. Right. Sound good? Yeah. Cool. How's that? All right, young digger, welcome to a new segment that we call Eats or Akfe. Yeah. You've got a word bank. Yeah. It'll have a list of words. Yeah. And you've got to decide if they're Eats or if they're Akfe. Do you know what Eats or Akfe mean? Yeah. No worries. That makes it easy for us. So easy. So, as long as telling us if they're eats or akfe, you have to tell us why they're eats or akfe, all right. if that's all right. Yeah, that's all right. Okay. So all the right. first word on the word bank, we've got Trump. Is he eats yeah. or is he akfe? He's eats. I reckon he's eats, yeah. Mint. Yeah. And I reckon he's eats because... <sighs> He's, uh, like, he actually did shit for, for America, you know? Oh, like, I agree. Yeah, like, he actually, like, he's a decent bloke, you know what I mean? Even though, he, like, you know, look around everyone, there's always going to be, like, you know, like, always something, you know, fucking, there's always going to be people hating and always trying to say something. Oh, exactly. And, and trying to paint a picture of you and stuff, so you just, but no, he does a very well job of sticking to himself and sticking I, by I, his guns yeah, yeah sticking by who he is and I think that he's he's good now I think he's all eats I don't disagree with you yeah alright next off we've got the war in Ukraine eats or fucked that's, that's fucked that's Akfa yeah. that's Akfa yeah 
Yeah, I yeah. agree. Yeah, 100%. And yeah, what was it Akfay? Yeah. I think that's Akfay because it's war. You know, you shouldn't. War is just war is Akfay. Yeah, war is yeah. Akfay. You know, there's just no point of war, and you know, there's no point point of fight and stuff. You know, just have peace and just love. You know, just exactly you, stop fighting. Exactly, just love one another and fucking yeah, just come together. Exactly, shoplifting. It's all Akfay. Well, I'm gonna say eights for that one. And eights? Yeah, because is there a line? Like, is eights yeah, on the line? A, is it, is it on the line or is it eights yeah, or up? It's, it's in the middle. It's, it's in, in the middle, middle Jed. One hundred percent. I'll say that it's in the middle because it's it's eights if you if you need to. If you're if, if it's eights for a certain reason. Exactly. It's not eights to just go and do it, exactly. but if you have to, yeah, it's eights. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. All right. The next word we've got is the South Gate. Eats or Rukfo? Like the South Gate Coles? No, nah, the South Gate Inn. South Gate Inn? The pub. Oh, the pub. Um, I don't know. I'll say Eats. I've, I've never eats? seen it. Yeah. 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 Very popular venue. Yeah, true. They've just renovated. You should check it out. Yeah, true. All right. All right. The next word tax we've got evasion. is tax evasion. Is All that right. Eats or Rukfo? No, I reckon that's Akfay because shit happens, you know. You need to just do your thing, I guess, you know. Just no, no, no. I mean, like, do you support evasion. tax evasion? Like, like evasion as in, like, not wanting to pay. Like, not, Yeah, yeah. You, yeah, you, I you, think that's Akfay. I think... You should pay tax. Yeah, I think... I think you should, if you have to, you should be doing it. Yeah, but yeah. But if you don't have to, then that's fucking... That's all eats. But if you have to do it, you should so be doing it. So, tax evasion is Akfay... If you just don't pay any tax, yeah. Tax evasion is eats. If you so it's on the line, yeah, really, yeah, pretty much, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm just gonna go along. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, if you if you're making your wage and you're paying yeah. your taxes, but you're doing yeah. cashes and you're not, yeah, then that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right. And the next word is the Tamworth obesity epidemic. Yeah. Please. Choose wisely. <laughs> What'd you look back at me for, mate? <laughs> no, I don't know. Um, I think it's I think it's eights because yeah, thanks. because right, not, right not even yeah. just but not just because like it's just because of the fact that as long as it doesn't matter what you look like, you know what I mean. As long as you're fucking looking after yourself, man. Yeah. As long as you're just fucking. As long as you're doing right. Exactly. Yeah. You're living. As long as you're happy, man. That's fucking. That's that's all eights. Honestly, yeah. that's all eights. Exactly. I don't give a fuck what you could be purple, fucking two foot. You know, whatever. You yeah, could, yeah, As long yeah. as you're 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 decent. You're decent. Yeah. You know, you fucking. You're fine. You're fine. You know. Uh, cocksucker Darren. Do you know who Cocksucker Darren is? No, I don't. <laughs> Cocksucker Darren is a man that hangs out at the Lions Park in yeah. South Tamworth. Yeah. Near Bylong Road, on yeah. Dura Road. You know where that is? Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Yeah, and he offers services. Yeah. Doesn't even offer them for cash. He just, if, you, if, you, if you're looking for getting your cock sucked, go to Darren. I mean, that's all yeah, I've I've got screenshots where he um, is very convincing. I'd never I try mean, it, yeah. but... I mean, yeah, I'd say that's all eats, to be honest. That's eats? Yeah, that's eats. Like, he's, yeah. he's doing a pretty good service. Yeah, like, he's giving out free hand. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't take it off him. But... I wouldn't. I wouldn't either, but I'm sure that there's definitely people in need, you know. There's definitely oh, people exactly. in need, so. Exactly that. Yeah. Um, Cocksucker, Darren. Damn players man. ball free. <laughs> eats or Uktfay? What's that? Players ball, you might not know about it. Your generation yeah. is a bit too young, yeah. but... It's a very big event that happens at the Oxley Bowling Club. It's yeah. very exclusive. People, like, um, invite only. Yeah. People try, like, people come from Gold Coast, Sydney, everything really? for it. Yeah. Big bro. For it. Yeah, true. Um, yeah. yeah, they have, like, their own merchandise. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's all just done at the bowling club. They yeah, get a, true. They get the DJ in who goes to the courty. Yeah, yeah, mad. Yeah, that's and, um, eights. Yeah, bro. Just eights. dress up as gangsters and yeah, they play as a wild gangster rap. Yeah, really. Minto. Fuck yeah, that's eights. That's 100%. Players ball free is eights. Yeah. Robert Street Shopping Village. Eights. Eights? Yeah. Very fair. Yeah. Bush and hard. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Bush. Bush. 
Would you say that's Eats or Akhtar? All right, so Bush is a good one because Bush is like a specific time, you know what I mean? When yeah. you just want to chill out and, you know, you're, just, you're not looking to get too... Too off your face, you know, you just want to chill out. Yeah, it's, it's a bit more weak. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's I'll like go, having a cruiser opposed yeah, to having a beer. Yeah, I'll go eats. Yeah. And that hydro? Fuck. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. yeah. Fuck. Uh, all right, all right. Rex Motors. Eats. Eats? Yeah. The lookout at night with a chick. Yeah. Eats. Eats. That would be good, yeah. The lookout at night yeah. with your mate. Yeah, eats. That's yeah. eats too. Yeah, yeah. Right yeah, up. Yeah, I fucking... <laughs> I, I'd, um, I'd a sesh up and look out with me mate, so fucking... Just a sesh? Yeah. That's all right. Sesh, yeah. We just need to verify that for yeah, the yeah, viewers Yeah, 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 just so everyone... It everyone was everyone not knows. anything else. It was just a sesh. <laughs> it was just a sesh, all right? But... What about doing anything else up there with your mate at night? Um, it's a bit Akfa, isn't it? Yeah, that's a bit Akfa. Yeah, yeah. That's so a bit fucking, that's a bit. That's definitely. Akfa. So that. Yeah. So going to the lookout with your mate at night, it's only justified if you have an search. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, anything else, it. it's a bit suspicious. Yeah, that's a bit suspicious. Righto. Yeah. Um, Granny Munro footy games. Eight. Eight. Yeah. Any any sports? It's eight. At Grady Munro Park or just anywhere? Yeah, anywhere. Cool. Yeah. The NRL. Eats or Rukfe? Eats. Yeah. The AFL. That's a good one. I might go in the middle because, like, it's good. Yeah, like, you, you can watch it. You just, yeah. 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 And Are you a fan like, of the AFL? I used to, no, I'm not, but when I was a kid, um, and we used to play it for, like, and what's it called? I, like I didn't really enjoy it, but I was actually really good at it. So it's like, a fun sport. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, it's fun to play and whatnot. So rugby I just union. Rugby is eight, and that is because I used to play it when I was a kid. Oh yeah. I used to do you ever looking at playing again? Maybe hundred percent. You should I, check I out reckon, the um, yeah. the Tamworth Magpies. Yeah, true. Fuck yeah. Very good local team. Yeah, to true. get around. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Now, future. Future. He's eight. Eight? Yeah. J. Cole. J. Cole. No, he can go. He's up nah, he can. Nah, yeah. I was going to put him in the middle of fucking. He can go in the arc wow. Yeah. Fucking. Fair. That's just. Like, I, I like J. Cole, don't get me wrong, but like what we were talking about. He's, he's up about, Yeah, because you can't just do that to your fans, you know? You need to actually, like. You need to fucking. You, you need to be there for your fans the way your fans are there for you, you know yeah, what I mean? You yeah. need to actually give what the fans want. And I know, just, he, doesn't, he doesn't really yeah. give back. Yeah. Murder. Eats or Akfe? Akfe. That's 100% Akfe. Drake. Eats or Akfe? Drake is... No, fuck Drake. Fuck Drake. Drake, he's, a, Drake he's a Akfe. Akfe. Yeah, fuck Drake. He's a fucking ghost writer. He, um, he fucking steals everyone's lyrics and... He's just, he's, no, I won't say he's a shit artist, because he's not, he's actually, he can, he can make music, but. Would you say, what would you say, the Cast and Couch episode two, with Michael um, McMahon, Eats or Act Fay? In the middle, yeah, I'll put it in the middle. In the middle? Yeah. It's a bit Eats and it's a bit Act Fay. Yeah, yeah. He's been nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, all right. mate. Alright, all good. Rolling cunts. Rolling Eats or Act Fay? Um, I really want to fucking just take the piss and put it on eight, but it is fucked. So I'll yeah, I'll say yeah. it's Akfe. Akfe, yeah. Akfe for personal reasons. Yeah. No, I'm I'm looking forward to the next the next one, the next question. Ticking, Ticking your sesh is that eight or is it Akfe? That's mm, that's hard. Is it is it okay once in a while? Yeah, I'd say once in a while. Like, with the cost of living, should it be expected drug yeah. dealers are now having finance options? Yeah, yeah. Or, I don't know, eh? I think it just depends on who you are as a person, but... I think so, it, too. Yeah. But, yeah. 
that's what the deal of the financial organisations yeah. are. They're yeah. supposed to work out whether they should give you a yeah. line of credit. Yeah. Do you think yeah. dealers now should be more open to the line of credit for sessions? Yeah, I think it's all eights. I think it's all eights just depending on who who you're selling it to and as long as you can trust them and as long as they'll pay you back, you know. But obviously if they're not paying the tick back, then that's not very eights. So, oh, very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, we like your list. Yeah. We know, gathering from this, that you got a pretty good judge of character. Yeah. So, thank you for playing Eats or Octopus. Thank you. That was very fun. All right, young digger. Thank you for doing Eats or Octopus for us. Okay. That performance was pretty good. Yeah. Now, you're a rapper. We can't have you on this show without getting you to rap. Yeah. You know, B-Lo did it. B-Lo yeah. rapped his heart out for us. Yeah, fuck yeah. So... We need to see what you bring to the plate. Yeah, all right. It's amazing. All right. All right. Fans at home, you're tuning in. Young Diggers in the studio about Let's to do a freestyle it. with us. Yeah. Casting Couch exclusive. <coughs> this is to the beat of Mob Deep, Shook Ones Part 2. Look. <coughs> this is to all the killers in the $100 deal. <laughs> I don't even know how that bit goes. But fuck me. Yeah. <coughs> uh. <coughs> <coughs> yeah. Uh. I. I got a stick and move. I'm ready pulling up on your crew. What you boys really wanna do? I got brothers for every single one of you. Oh, I gotta stick to my shit. I gotta stay off the grid, gotta stay silent for a minute. The pressure in the air is rising, can you feel the closing in? I don't really had it going so hard. Huh? It done left the wound turn to a fucking scar. Got to the call and I was really born going off the chart. I gotta pu- I put a circle on your spot. How the fuck can you talk? Like you were up. I'ma cash you at the dock. I'ma spin up in my car. I was going on the chart. I'll be quick to get into the squeezing. I'ma leave him bloody and wasting. You niggas wouldn't even believe it when I kill that nigga for no reason. How the fuck you niggas really gon' talk? I leave him on the sidewalk with a white chalk. I'll be coming for the thong, so what you really want? Be careful for what she say. Don't be tough, don't act that way. Or I'll grab that blade, another type of nigga to ever hesitate. I'ma grab the blade, piss it in your fucking skin. Really be about my shit. I guess I'll hop, I'll kill the little bitch. I use my fist to squeeze his fucking neck. I'll get a tech, cause money coming in properly. There is no stopping me. I was keeping it real and honest. That's why these niggas hate me in this motherfucking industry. Your whole career made one of my songs fucking history. Chipping my shoulder like who gon' do shit. I get a pack, I fucking move the shot, he's shaking ass for my news. Man. I'ma kill that boy for my to do list. Remember when no one was listening to mine? Uh, do this and do that But I said you cannot rush greatness I'm not like these others I'm not in it to be famous That's why I had to do a quick turn And make a fucking lane uh, Cause all you niggas talking all of the same They be sounding so strange I be spitting shade off the brain Cause I be trying to get it up Trying to get that bank I'm trying to get it from pay Remember way back in the fucking day When I was trying to get it up Now I had to stay I'm trying to stay here for a couple of years I'm smoking on that fucking weed And then I crack a bit Cause I be feeling so with stone That shorty telling me that she home alone So you know I jump in that car Going so fast Pulling up with ARs I spray at your bro So how the fuck you niggas thinking That she really know how that shit goes I'm trying to get it up I just stick into the coast Remember when I was in the east Now I'm on the west Trying to get it up for the motherfucking best You thinking that she fucking with all these vests I'm trying to keep it up Keep it up with a p- I got nurse, I got pants, I got bands, I got a lot of fucking I got conscious bands, I got way in the back of the fucking in the back of the truck that last me for a motherfucking way. If you tryna come for me, I blush, I blush what I fucking hate. Ay, how you boys singing? That's your all MCs. It's spitting so clean. I seen all these niggas on streets that don't wanna do bicker and beef, but when I pull up, I be getting that fucking clap back, cause I know where you at. How the fuck you niggas thinking that she make me? How the fuck you thinking that she can make me mad? That man, got the best I'm not in the fucking. Oh, fucking hell, bro. That's alright, bro. <laughs> Cheers for that, bro. No worries, brother. Bro, thank you for that. You nearly <laughs> made it to the end of the song, yeah, anyway. Yeah, bloody hell, young digger. Yeah. Free soloing on the couch. Yeah. We love to see it, brother. Yeah. Cheers, and we bro. are more than thankful for you coming no, on and talking to us. I'm 
fucking forever grateful, man. And fucking, I appreciated the fuck ton having me on, man. This is no worries, brother. A big opportunity we, for me. And, we want to keep yeah. looking at what you're doing in the future, yeah, and we want we want to keep up to date on you. Yeah, fuck yeah, we well, fucking, man. I, same goes, honestly. Like you know, I, I'm fucking really excited to see what what goes on for you and no worries and brother this, you're always man. welcome back no thank you man I, no, i'm no fucking drama 100% at all. coming back now I'm sounds fucking, good brother I, I love this you know this is fucking first time doing this so you know i really enjoyed it and fucking yeah i yeah. can't wait to come back so. and what would you say to anyone else who wants to come on the show fucking hit him up straight up come on the fucking show fucking get it and fucking just do it man you'll fucking love it you won't regret it just fucking just do it you know bloody yeah, hell yeah it's fucking yeah just i don't know i'm kind of lost for words you know this is fucking pretty big you know and nah cheers yeah, brother fucking i've always you know pictured myself doing this you just yeah oh, never, i'm glad never we could provide about. the opportunity for no, you bro we you, hope man. you enjoyed it no i fucking i more than enjoyed it man i fucking appreciated it a lot what's your Insta? Um, yeah young your Insta. Yeah. Yeah. yeah what's it called if uh, people want to find you if it's in the link, it's Young Digger, like in the link below. We'll, we'll make sure video. to add links to your account. Yep. All right, it's yep. easy. And, and my YouTube, all my YouTube and SoundCloud and all that, it's yep. all just Young Digger. And We'll, we'll yep. link it all in the bio for yep. you to find. No, thank you for no that, No worries. Man. Appreciate that a fuck time. No dramas at all, brother. Alrighty. Thanks for coming thank on, man. Thank you. Thank you, Heat.